Hey guys, Kim McCann back from Nevada today, and we're going to be picking up where we left off immediately afterwards. But this is just going to be a really short video. This is so I can, uh, what do I call it? Go ahead and edit the first video. But this is going to be, we finishing the mission and maybe one other one. Good night, Sean. My teddy. I haven't got my teddy, Dad. You must have left it somewhere in the How house. How old are you? Have you have any idea where it could be? No, Dad. Please. That's the Duolingo bird. Without him. All right. All right. I'll have a look around and see if I can find it. Okay. That's too bad, Sean. Time to sleep now. Oh, Wait, no, what? Dad, please, I need my teddy. Press the wrong button. All right, I'll have a look around and see if I can find it, okay? I pressed the wrong button, I swear. Sean I was just curious. You must have left it lying around here somewhere. Yeah, a teddy acquired. Oh man, I kind of go tired in real, go to bed in real life. But slight problem: one, it's the fourth fucking July, and the fireworks haven't gone off yet. And two, same reason as reason one. Teddy. Thanks, Dad. Welcome. Actually grateful now. Good night, Sean. Night. Dad? Yes? Why do you look so sad? I think I just need some time. To get back to the way things were. You know, Dad, what happened to Jason wasn't your fault. Good night, Sean. You're about to make a grown ass man cry. He doesn't get a kiss, he's a grown ass man. I'm not even close. Where am I? Why am I? Mom? Mom! What the heck is happening to me? I must be going crazy. Oh my god, it's a dramatic reveal for later. And a new character as Rosen. Ah.
Men at the desk gotta be able to help. Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope. Can't say it does. Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third floor, last door on the left, at the end of the corridor. Been looking for weeks. Hope I hit pay dirt this time. Guess I better take the stairs. What did I just do? Dramatic cutscene! Oh, that's a real cheap look. Right? Or to the left. Lauren Winter. Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Wait. I actually managed to do that for try. Hey, hey, for me. It's fifty bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Don't require your services. Put your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings, it's over, okay? Give away $55 for this damn motel. Nice looking girl, but too young to be the sort of girl you find. You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. I... Actually, I'm not a customer. Not a car. Oh, shit, a cop. I should have known. What do you want? A freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. Okay. Pause the video, like, right now. I am gonna poke a huge asshole in logic. He claims that the families of the origami victims has hired him and specifically him to investigate. Does that mean that multiple, including plural, it decided to to hire the same guy to investigate the organic killer family, like victims? And if that is the case, which I know it's not, then wouldn't Laurel already hired this guy? And wouldn't she or Laura or Winter? Wouldn't Winter already hire him and stuff? And already know why he's here? That's just a huge plot hole I just made. I already told the police all I know and have nothing to add. Leave me alone. Her fool, damn. I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, <laughs> I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. Oh my god. There'll be other victims if we don't stop the killer. You have got to help me, Lauren. You may know something that can aid the investigation. Help you? There's nothing you can do. My son's dead, do you hear me? He's dead. I hear you, you loud bitch. If we don't find the killer, there'll be other mothers who find their son's body on a deserted wasteland. But, but, but you're right. Why should you care? It's not your problem anymore, right? Okay, I'm now start calling her Lauren since my tongue wants to do tongue things. I want to know why you're being such a satin. I'm kidding. Tell me about Johnny. What kind of kid was he? Johnny was really a good boy. Sometimes At he fought with other kids who called me a, you know. In his own way, I think he understood what was going on. How did your son disappear? He used to go play with the neighborhood kids after school. It was pouring down something awful that day. I'll never forget it. All his friends came home around five. All except him. Want one? No thanks, I quit. That's brave. It's practicing, alright? 
before I take the problem out, call it. I guess I can't find it. When did you sound the alarm? About eight o'clock. I began to get worried. I went all around the neighborhood. I went to the wasteland where they like to play. I went to see his friends. I called the cops about 10 o'clock. Did Johnny live with you? Yes. Of course, I made sure he never met any of my clients. I wanted to stop, you know. But we needed the money. I was trying to earn enough to get us out of here. Time's up, Mr. Shelby. I hope you got what you wanted. Now get out of here. Dirt fool. I gotta get out of here. Pardon the table. Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. Maybe I should start carrying on no business cards. Pushing. They look pretty handy. He's not gonna tell me anymore. I didn't learn squat. <laughs> Yes. <coughs> die. Die a horrible death. Die, damn you, die. Wait, of course, it's heavy. Oh, I was about to say, of course, it's heavy rain's gonna dick me over every way it can, but no. Alright, first try. Lauren. <coughs> Lauren, open up, baby. Since I have asthma, I should come, uh. I since I, uh. What's we call it? Sorry. Since I have asthma, see, even right there it says asthma. Fucking, if I have asthma, I'm gonna wrap her because I know how to not breathe. Goddamn asthma. And it's not gonna get any better this freaking weather. What do you want, asshole? Lauren, is everything all right? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser. Oh. I know, loser, yeah. you loser. If you're looking for trouble, you found it. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Oh. Try. <laughs> shit. Shit times two. I am a cop. No commentary shall be had there this battle for the I don't know, showing my tense folks and I won! I'll see you again, asshole. I won! Are you alright? Is your table alright? Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex client who thinks he owns me. Come on. He was getting violent and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby? Yeah. yeah. Thanks. No problem. Oh. <coughs> oh, I've had a hell of a time. Uh, Scott losing a fight thanks to my fucked up controller and other things.
birth thing is out. Oh, so that's about to end the video anyways. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and edit all my stuff. I'm Q Mechanic and I'm out.